Right then, hello and welcome back to Tonka World Touring Cars, moving away from the main career for the time being and going back to the Support Car Championships and we're going to be in the AC Super Blower for this one, which of course was in Tonka 2 Touring Cars. Um, this car I think uh, handles a little bit better than the uh, the second game counterpart, but um, yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. As always, we're going to have four races of three laps each as it was with the Support Cars in the second game. Um, so we're going to start with, let's have a look we'll start with vancouver that's absolutely fine then we're gonna go to hockenheim ring and then we'll go to let's have a look snetterton why not and then we'll finish off at um yeah at the a1 ring why not that's absolutely fine right select me car please and yes the good old ac super blower right let's change the color of this one to start with um, we want, uh, so you have multiple choices of the coloration this time. Uh, so the body color I'm going to have as, you know what? I'm going to go all black. I'm going to have like a devil demon black looking machine, which would be uh, slightly different because everyone else is going to have the, uh, good, the good old pinstripes. Um, oh, I can't actually change the coloration. Oh, that's a body color. Oops, excuse me. Uh, highlighter two. That's the one we want. Went a bit too quick. And there we go. Just just a completely black car. That's absolutely fine. And as always, we're starting at the back of each of these races. So um, because we're coming close to the end now of the game, we've only got two main championships in the main career. And we've got six of the uh, support cars left to try out. So it's going to be three support car championships in a row. Then we do the next uh, championship in the international uh, category. And then we do three more. And then we do the world championship. So very simple. Anyway, where's my teammate? I don't know, actually, because uh, it doesn't show up. We're in car 14 this time. Right, let's try and uh, do quite well on this, shall we? And go. Come on, pull away. At least my teammate will be easy to spot. He's the only other driver without any uh, markings on the car. And he's right near the back. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, these cars handle bloody terribly, just like it did in Toka 2 Touring Cars. Not very nice at all. Should be able to make a couple of moves, though they slow down way too much for this corner, and I go in too fast. Oh, understeer. A huge amount of understeer. Oh, someone went creening into the wall. He did in front as well, by looks of it. Yeah, these cars are bloody terrible. Oh, he, I don't know what he's doing in front. He's just going into every single wall. I think he has the same driving tutor as I have. It's all right. Just go into every wall. It's fine. Okay, up into second. Leader is just in front, so we might be able to catch him. Oh. Yeah, if we keep doing that, if we just glance the wall. Oh, and he's spun. Okay, and there we go. We take the lead. Oh, the bloody... The tyre barriers in this game are way too sticky. Nope, stop it. Okay, one more lap to go. And he's slowing down way too early. Or I'm just being reckless and going too fast into the corners. Who knows? Nope, don't do that. We're fine. Oh, damn it. I got a bit of bodywork rubbing on the tyre. That's what that noise is. That'll eventually fall off. There we go. Oh no, it's still there. Oh, 
We've got a bit of damage to the engine as well, but it's fine because it's the end of the race. And there we go. First race and a first victory. Not bad. Our car was looking pretty mangled after the first corner, let alone the uh, the end of the race. But yeah, there we go. My teammate, though, Kojima, he actually does get a point finishing in sixth place in the all-black machines. Uh, so yeah, 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1, the top six, as we head on to race number two, which is what I selected from Hockenheim Ring. Yeah, Hockenheim Ring for race two. So uh, this one, again, shouldn't be too bad. I do like this uh, shorter version of Hockenheim Ring. I'm quite partial to national circuits. They're just uh, short, quick, and uh, to the point. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can get a repeat and win this one as well. And hopefully my teammate, who is directly in front of me, can uh, get some points again. A little bit of smoke from my teammate. Kept it together though, we didn't spin. Oh, speaking of which. I will admit, the start could have gone better. But these cars have a tendency to... Uh, to break loose under uh, braking. Had that issue as well when we race these on Toka 2 touring cars. Excuse me. No, get off. Oh, you son of a bitch. Again, with the cars and the handling characteristics, when they try and break loose and you go to counter steer to correct it, um,. Yeah, it is literally like a ping pong effect or, or a tank slapper effect. You cannot collect a, a half spin. It will just spear you in the other direction. Ooh. I did cut the corner a bit. No, no, come on. Stop playing silly buggers. Get a move on. Well, all I can say is my teammate's doing better than me. Alright, use you as a buffer, get around you, thank you. Well, at least my teammate is in the points at the moment. Hopefully he doesn't spin. Come on. There we go. Right, one lap to go. That's a bit better. Right, they're all in a little tight cluster, so we might be able to get past them into the braking zone, but we'll see. Oh yeah, one's actually gone careening off into the wall, so that promotes myself and my teammate up a position, so we're both in the points. I'm gonna squeeze past you though. Don't think I got enough time though to push the two cars ahead off. Oh, no, that's just going to happen again. That's fine. Oh, can I get a position? No, three wide right at the end and my driver actually pushes him out the way. Well, I was hoping that the replay would show off some uh, decent camera angles, especially with that three-way battle come the end. But uh, unfortunately, no, the, the camera angles on this game aren't the greatest, I must admit. Anyway, let's have a look then. I'm still leading the way, uh, tied with Mitchell at the moment, then uh, Hoare with nine points, Ogden and Hind at the top five. Uh, what about my teammate? Uh, he's still in seventh at the moment with two points. So, you know, anything can happen as we go on to round three. And good old Snetterton. Got the Riches, S's, and Russell Corner Complex. 
Now, I'm not going to say, oh, we do fairly well here because I usually jinx myself and we don't. Like we did at Hockenheim, but oh well. Right, let's get her done. Where's my teammate? Is he going to be directly in front of me again? I Probably. Knowing him. And, well, kind of. Go. Stop wheel spinning and move. There we go. Teammate losing a spot immediately. Damn it. That's the thing with these cars, they're so unstable under brakes that you have to be so careful. Oh, one's decided to spin himself out. Oh, I've gone for a little ride of a lifetime. Right. Oh, thanks for that. Now that was my teammate's fault. I seen him push the other car out of the way. Oh. And he's trying to get one back. Sod off. You're not taking this position. Well, let me guess. I think Mitchell's going to win this race as well. So, as is always the case, we always have a strong start with the first race. And then we always seem to flub it. Oh! And over I go. Everyone's gone off. And my teammate goes into me. Well, ain't that bloody wonderful. I'm surprised my driver is still alive. There's no active roll cage on this car. I don't think a little flap of plexiglass windscreen is going to save my driver somehow. Not from serious injury. Uh, oh well. Final lap. I've got engine damage as well, which is... Perfect. Oh, and they both spun. Thank you. Small consolation. There's only going to be another two points. So that means we'll uh, have 14 points in the bank. Mitchell is going to have, uh, what, 22. So we're going to be eight points behind going into the last round, and we're not going to win. I've already conceded defeat. Yep, still miles ahead of sixth place. Oh, the suspension on these cars is way too bouncy. And there we go, another race and another miserable bloody result. And to my astonishment, Hind got the victory in the end, then Mitchell was only second, but that still doesn't uh, make me feel any better because we're still, well, we're only four points behind Mitchell now. So, you know, one round to go. If we get the victory, push Mitchell, Mitchell off, Mitchell, uh, put, uh, push Mitchell off, um, then we could have a chance. Not saying we are, though, because A1 ring and it's one of my least favorite circuits, but stranger things have happened, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got three laps ahead of us. Anything can happen in that three-lap duration. 
Come on. Get on with it. Don't over rev this time. There we go. Right, is everyone going to suck going through turn one? Not really. A bit of bumping and boring in the mid pack. My teammate managed to make it through. Okay, yeah, that was completely fair. You're just going to brush up against my car. Slow me down. Bloody turd. Christ, how fast is he going? Did he, like, lose his brakes or something? He was just blasting through. He actually went through, uh, I think, about three different cars. Right, I think that's going to be Mitchell ahead, so I'm going to try and push him off. If I can slow my bloody car down. Oh, no, that didn't work. Right, the yellow cars we need to push off. And to stay off the curbs at all cost. Oh, for God's sake. Every bloody time. The gravel traps do not spin your car 180 degrees by touching them. Stupid game and their stupid ass bouncy crappy physics. I, I've mentioned this multiple times before. I mean, this game is fantastic, but the physics are... I mean, look at that. The physics are absolute ass wash most of the time. You go over the curbs, your car bounces or goes over on two wheels. Gravel traps don't do anything but spin you around. And then you break your bloody engine and you can't do a sodden thing about it. Well, at least one of the yellow cars is near the back. Small consolation though, we're not going to be able to catch up with the top end. Come on, accelerate. I know you want to. No, the engine is way too knackered. Unless every car spins up ahead, which is not likely to happen, then uh, I think we're going to have to settle for either 6th or 5th. Of course, we've got this doofus behind us as well. No, don't you do it again. Oh, you... Oh, you son of a bitch. My car is absolutely destroyed. Can't even turn. Well, it's, it's turning to the right. Amazing that I'm still keeping up with the bloke in front. Just counter steer. We might even salvage a point or two. We keep counter steering just to combat the uh, the broken suspension. <laughs> this is really stupid. If we manage to keep fourth place with a car in this bad a condition. I should uh, have to brake my car more often. Oh no, there, there goes the car, yep. 
That was the uh, the car trying to break away under braking again. No, oh, come on. Come on, I believe in you, little car. At least get us a couple of points. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, that was going... I thought, you know, we could have a point. But, no, if you go onto the grass or gravel, um, with a broken car, with severely damaged suspension, and it will just pirouette your car through 180 degrees, even if you're counter-steering to combat that. Uh, so, yeah. We tried our best, but our best just wasn't enough. And we're going to be out of points and finishing in 8th. Hooray. Yay. What a mess. Well, our misfortune turned out to be our teammate's fortune as he wins the race. Good old Kojima, he gets 10 points to his name. Mitchell, though, does finish in 2nd, so that means he's going to be the champion. And, uh, yes, uh, not by much, though, only by 5 points over Hind. Um, Ogden with 15, myself with 14. And my teammate actually got into the double figures in the end. 12 points for Kojima. Well done, Kojima, for your uh, efforts. Uh, do you want to drive again? No, I don't think I will. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah, that was the uh, the next championship done for the support cars. Uh, we've only got five more to do. Like I said, there's going to be two more uh, support car championships before we go back to the main career. And then the final three championships before we finish off this game completely with the uh, Touring Car World Championship. Um, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you next time for the penultimate support car championship in this little batch. And uh, yeah, that'll be uh, some way off in the future, but uh, won't be too far away. So uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And bye for now.